the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And here we have Peru against Denmark. I'm Peter Drury, and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. Peru shape up in a 4-5-1. Yeah, this is a setup that offers easier flexibility whether you want to attack and or defend. Interception. Schoener. Tulsen. Aimed low and direct. Denmark pressing with energy in the opening moments of the game. Now it's Carrillo. on the left now goes wide now here's the through ball Andre Carrillo Denmark still to register a shot on target played out to the wing Forward it goes, cuts it out. Spreads it wide, gets the chance to cross, and he's cut it out. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Good determined running there, but one back by the defence. Dinks one in. Oh, he's had a shot! Looking back on that, it was some save and potentially a big moment for the keeper and his team. Goes long, shoots! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. The timing of the pass and run was exquisite. Now here's the through ball. 
massive leap. That's a cracking strike, and it may have stunned the palms of the keeper. Well played, he saw that coming. Tries to get it forward quickly. Chance to shoot, and he's, he's gone for it! Goal! Denmark! And Denmark score first. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Denmark for first blood here. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. It'll be a throw in. Ericsson. Hits one! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. It so nearly came off for him. Poulsen very nearly making something happen there. You can't keep a good man down. Looking to force his way through. Goes for goal. And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Looks to slip it through. Can he finish? He has done it! Well, oh, listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Now he's wondering who wants it. Keeper's ball. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals. One each. So when they come for the break with nothing to separate them, the score 1-1. One, one. And that's the second half started. Place it into the channel. Now here's the through ball. Defended. That had to be done. Andre Carrillo plays it forward. They certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. He's gone long. He's gone for it. Good stop. That wasn't easy. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Back into the middle. A really good feat from him. 
Now it's Schoener. Chance! Oh, full-blooded challenge, and it had to be. And that's been won straight back. Aimed low and direct. Out to the flank. That's an out wide now. He's got away. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. And now they can launch a counter. He's still going. Where to next? He's left his man. It's a brilliant interception. Forward it goes. Denmark cannot keep hold of the ball. Chance! Shakes the shoots. Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. of lacking inventiveness here, it's all broken down. Get a throw in. Somewhat looks like... Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. And that's going to be a booking. towards the flank. Late back in. Andre Carrillo tries to get it forward quickly. Now a chance to break. Tries a through ball. Decent progress down the left. Now the pass. Now here's the through ball. Lovely bit of skill. the shoots and the follow-up goal Denmark and they've got their lead back he was really quick to react to the initial save and he has his reward well listen last line of defense and you don't get it right then you're paying a visit to your net Denmark take the lead. Andre Carrillo. Schoener sticks in a foot to win it back. Looks like a good ball through. Striding for shot a goal! Denmark are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Aimed long and direct. Carrillo. Looks to clip it forward. Peru are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Schoener. to win it back and here's the chance to counter plays a clever pass 
He's got options out wide. Lovely feet. Needs a quality cross. Hits one! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. another change here well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake I think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it and I think that's happened in this case brings it forward oh that's meat Ericsson this could fall anywhere it's Eriks looking to get within range. And there goes the final whistle. Denmark come out on top. Hard fought, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Look, this is a team that doesn't look as if it's done.